What's up everybody, it's your boy Gringos here, and today's video guys, we're gonna go into how to edit the text or whatever you guys wanna call it, configure, and we're also gonna go into Lightrooms and how to set up this glossy thing on your material, and how to create an awesome material with an uh, image on that will look uh, realistic. So, let's just start off by configuring our text here. As we got here, and if you don't have a text, just click Shift A and create a text right here and put it to the middle. Very simple. If you watched last tutorial, please do it. I teach you how to create a text here and make it be in the middle. So watch that tutorial, and it's really important that you watch that tutorial uh, because we got our setup here, and that is a tutorial how to fix the setup. So yeah, let's start off with uh, configuring the text or editing the text. So. Make sure you have your text, right click it, then you go into this F, okay? You go into the F sh section, and let's go over what extrude do. Extrude does so you like make it like, like uh, you'll see like this, you know? Uh, like more bold, really hard to explain. But we're gonna go for 165, because I think that looks pretty good. Uh, you can decide how much you want, like 145, but we're just gonna go for 165, okay? Then we're gonna go into the diff, and diff makes it like bold. This is <laughs> a little easier explanation because this is like bold. I don't know what to say about this, but it's just extrude. You saw what I did, and that's what it does. Resolution is making it more smooth, so you must have the diff at least at like two to show result. If you have like one, it's fine, it will, but it doesn't show the result as you really want. But I always go for uh, only Sarah the uh, ten on the depth because uh, I think it looks good like that Now we're gonna go over to font so just click or look go down here and it says font as a title and then Then uh, regular and then this folder here click on that one click I'm gonna or just pick your font Doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go for a go go Poster punch. That's a really nice fun. I'll show you guys. There it is. Now you see the letters are very, very close to each other. We're just gonna do this for a little moment, like that. Boom. So problem solved. So now we got a basic text here, but as you see right now, if we would just go around like this, it looks really bad. You know what I mean? Like it goes a little, like irritates a little wrong. I know the answer for that. So what you need to do is to uh, right click on it and hold Control Alt Shift and click C and then origin origin to center of mass. And now we go here and now it looks a lot better. So that's how you fix that. So problem solved with that. Now we're gonna go into the material, okay? So the material section is over here. Still make sure you have your text selected. Click new. Call it whatever you want. I want to call it cool material. Um, so once you called it whatever you guys wanted to call it, I'm going to just call it cool material. Here we got our cool material. So our material is right now just, just white. And you can see here right now it's just white, you see? So it's just white, nothing special. Just normally white. So what you're gonna do after that to make it glossy is to go surface down here on the surface menu and click diffuse and then put it to mix shader. You can you you can choose if you want to put it on glossy only. They'll make it like this glossy effect, like this, uh, like that. But uh, I want to I'm gonna go for mix shader so we can choose two and mix it. So the first shader is gonna be glossy. Redness down to zero. Make sure to have that. Then glossy again, we're just now to zero. So now we have a material here, and now we're just gonna pick a little simple color. And uh, yeah, so here's our specific color. Now we got a really nice color here and a really nice material. But if we would just go into the render view, it wouldn't show any special, it just shows some small stuff. If you guys know what I mean, you may not saw that, but show some small on the hair like in the middle here that's because uh, the lightning system in blender I think works like that white black and when that goes together like when it's dark and it's lit and outside it gets this glossy effect it's really hard to explain but you'll 
hopefully understand in the future. So how to fix this now is by importing a Lightroom that has a white and black effect. So it has to be white and black image only, no other color. Fine, it will work, but it will light up it. It will make it like if you have green, it will make the the color green. This one will be lit up as green. So that's not so good. So you want to have a black and white texture. And I have the perfect. Uh, texture or image in my light kit as you always can download in my description or in any other videos. I usually have that in my intros videos and it also includes some awesome materials you can use. So let's just um, open up our uh, material pack and if you guys want to know how I append stuff is I just click file, append, but I hold shift and click F1 for a little faster way. So we're gonna go desktop and here's my kit go world because this is a world you know it's the the world it's like the sun it's like a world it, it, lit, it lits up our world then you click on this one and append now we're gonna go in here click here boom now you look perfect so now it works very simple as it should um you see here it's uh, glossy and it perfectly works so now we have a glossy text as we want it to be and uh, now we're just basically gonna <clears throat> import a texture to it okay so it looks like this uh, cool metal text you know as you guys have may seen on a lot of people intros they have like this metal pattern or scratches on their materials oh that's just so cool but you may have never figured out how to do that in blender but now I'm gonna teach you it's very very simple I don't think I'm the first one to leak this for free but I think a lot of other YouTubers have done that, but they have made videos that are like 20 minutes long, and it's very annoying. So, what you're gonna do is to open a section displayment on uh, in your material. Then you're gonna click default and change it to math. Then on the add here, you're gonna put it to multiply. First one here is gonna be an image texture, and this one is for your own choice. I'm gonna go for .080 because I think that's a good choice. Now we're going to open an image such as metal, metal pattern and all the images doesn't work as good as you may think. But I have some textures here that work pretty, gl pretty good. So we're going to choose the metal texture here. So if we look now, nothing has been affected. But that's because something isn't right. We can't really fix it here as I know. So we must open our extra menu here or whatever you want to call it, panel go in here and note editor so now you guys are gonna get really confused because you may have never worked with materials in here so what you need to do here is a simple thing if we remove this one nothing happens if we put this one to this one boom we get our image affected to the material so now if we would look or render still nothing as you see absolutely nothing but our material says that it is something but listen you can't put a material on a text or like an image on a text I don't, I don't think because it just doesn't work it's not a mesh object or anything like that so you can't put an image on a text so what you need to do to fix this problem is basically by making it into a mesh but here's the like the negative thing about making it to a mesh you won't be able to edit the text like this you won't be able to do that anymore so make sure you have the right name that's why I tell all the people I make intros for okay uh, after I've done this no turning back I can't change the text they're like yeah man I seems good so you can't change the text after you've done this but you must do this to apply the material to the text so make sure you have right click at the text right click the text and hold alt and click C it'll bring up a menu that says convert to curve from mesh slash text and mesh from curve blah blah so I used to click this one down uh, since uh, this one gives another thing uh, it's like uh, spirals it gives the spiral effect and that's you, you don't want that so you want to click this one it'll make it to a mesh object so if I click ask now or tab I mean you can't change the text anymore sadly you can't so what do we need to do to apply this material now or the image because right now nothing is applied so 
make sure to right click the text click tab click a u smart uv project or you can i mean you can choose if you want to click unwrap or smart uv project what this will do is to like unwraps your text or it's really hard it um it makes it it allows it to put an image on it but i usually use smart uv project but we can just unwrap if you guys want to so there you go then Q projection really important or the texture won't really work as perfectly as you think now we have applied it congratulations we have applied our first texture so you see here's a texture we have it applied it's glossy and beautiful and I'm really sorry if I can I, guys I can't render a full image because my OBS really cr it crashes really when I do that so but it's applied now but it may seem a little small like it looks too ugly it looks terrible if you guys understand what I mean basically what I mean is that it looks um, hmm, how can I explain this um, it looks very damn this is hot um, well if we just look here now uh, if you look uh, it looks really like uh, so zoomed in it looks so it looks a little disgusting but I know how to fix that so basically go over here make sure this is selected with a and to select everything you click a and then you click s zoom it out boom holy moly guys you see this now it looks a lot better you can adjust how to, how you want it to look like uh, a little smaller maybe hmm Way uh, okay that looks pretty good not too bad and you still have all the glossy effects you can of course you can change material or the image here and just change it open the value here I think this is a good one though I don't know but you see here boom awesome this looks like disgusting good oh the OBS frozen oh <laughs> I'm sorry here boom you see that guys that looks disgustingly awesome so that's how you put images onto um, a text so hopefully that cleared a lot for you and same with the HDR Lightroom or the Lightroom so stop make Lightrooms with those stupid planes as everyone did in the beginning like holy moly you don't need to do this guys you don't need to and start making materials you don't need to anymore juice HDR Lightroom black and white image find any good just type in black and white images on the internet and you'll find a ton of them make sure they're not copyrighted or anything they'll turn out bad for you or just use my like it I have a zebra images here zebra image here I works awesomely perfect for intros and I have used it a lot but I now I'm using another one it's uh HDR real life and that one looks a lot more smooth uh, but I don't I don't really have it right now <laughs> where it's my kind of private one so <laughs> yeah so uh, you can find any images on the internet I did find that one on the internet it's not copyrighted I just don't want to give it away really uh, so yeah that's I think that's pretty much it that explains uh, put materials Lightroom how to make it lit up and yeah how to edit the text so uh, if there are any questions you guys wanna ask just feel free to do it I will answer your questions nimas problemas as you say in Swedish but in another accent but hopefully this cleared a lot of things so yeah see you guys in the next video